Uh, my name is Teresa Mackwitz. I'm the author and illustrator of Scribbles, and I won two awards, right? Two finalist awards in Children's Mind, Body, and Spirit in 2017. One for International Book Award, and the other one for the Best Book Awards. Scribbles is a little girl who um, really doesn't want to do math because math is hard. So she'd rather draw all day. So that's why Fancy the Frog is around because she draws Fancy constantly. So Mrs. Um, Sunshine, who's a special ed teacher, kind of looks at her, watches her, she has to figure her out. She um, looks at her, the positive pieces in the English teacher and her um, develop something where Scribbles can be successful with the art, with the writing where she's really good at. That way she'll go back to math and she'll try it again. So once um, Mrs. Sunshine realizes that she's wonderful in drawing, right, that we can create that and put that back into math and then she can feel good about herself and then she'll want to and then everybody's on the same page of how to teach Scribbles correctly and then um, everybody wins. It's a win-win situation. What I try to do is I you know, follow up with emails, trying to make um, contacts with other people, try to um, use my um, book to help you know um, children. So I either I go to um, schools or I discuss whoever has another company that works with children. You know, we discuss and try to collaborate. I even talk to hospitals because all the books that I'm trying to do is a need for the kids to be helped. And not every child understands what they're even going through half the time, you know, but I give them that permission, that voice, but I also give the voice to the people surrounding the child and that child gets it and everybody gets it and then we're okay. So I'm trying to do that. My favorite parts of the job is collaborating, um, um, getting my project out. Um, I love writing, so writing's fun. I like doing my artwork, which is a lot of fun, um, and just try to put it all together. I constantly have to think, and this is what I love about this, you know, um, constantly thinking about how to move my book to another direction. I don't know anything. I didn't go to school for this. So I'm constantly researching, thinking, and, and um, learning. And I really like that piece of this job. So um, right now I'm, I'm brand new. So Scribbles just came out in June 2017 and I've been doing really well with it. Um, so right now, my, I guess my favorite story is the Scribbles. However, I have nine to 12 extra. I have them all ready to go with the artwork and I wanna keep this going. So as soon as the financial piece comes in, I can push out another book because um, Mascot is a wonderful publisher where uh, it's a hybrid. So I have to pay a little in order for me to um, get published, but they only take the top 20% that comes in. They don't just take everybody. So um, they like my work and they see the need in my work and I'm trying to help the kids. I've always wanted to be a writer, always. But I didn't think I could make any money writing. So um, I have three degrees. One's in early childhood, one's in special ed. Um, the early child is associates, my bachelor's in, um, is special ed in sociology. Anyway, my husband um, is in the Coast Guard and we went active. And then I said, oh my God, what do I do? I'm, I can't be a teacher in class anymore. Well, I don't know what to do. I am not a person who just sits there. Uh, I went back to writing and my good friend Jeanette, who I adore, she, um, I asked her, I said, you know, what do you think of this? And she's like, why are you not doing this? I said, well, I didn't think it was that good. So she's like, you, you need to do this. And I said, well, I don't think I can make anything out of it. I don't even think I'm going to get published, never mind anything else. I started writing. I started doing the artwork. It started and, and then the best part is my book scribbles went into print on Dr. Seuss's birthday. Like seriously, you can't get any better than that. <laughs> and it just keeps on evolving and I'm, help the, I'm able to help the children, not in my classroom anymore, but through a book so that I wrote for them. So my core value is always to give back, always be kind, always try to help the other person um, if you can, right? And if you can, that's understandable too. Um, but don't be mean. And um, being a special ed teacher, you see a lot. And your heart cries a lot because you see kids who come from broken homes or things that happen in the, the world that was not their control. 
or or just you know even just not learning correctly or there correctly you know and it has nothing to do with that I used to tell my students all the time I have a bag a suitcase full joking with them and if you can't figure it out with this I'll give you something else boom oh can't figure it out boom and I wouldn't give up on them and so they didn't give up on me and then they would pass and then they would believe in themselves and keep moving and keep them and to keep these kids feeling loved and to make sure that they, it's gonna be fine you just have to figure it out and it's all right to do that i would love to keep writing and and, and eventually um tell my story where i saw a double of my left eye for 30 years and tell kids that if i can do it you can do it and i really feel like maybe i can help use my books be that vehicle to change or you know modify i should say not really so much change um to make it better in educational career to take my students who made it to college and maybe i can help make them understand or the educational system learn that all kids learn differently it doesn't matter if you're special ed it doesn't matter if you're regular ed everyone learns different i learned different for 30 years seeing double i show them all the famous people who have had problems learning or whatever they had and, and they go oh i can do that too you know all right so let's get back into the ring again and let's keep going and so i'm hoping that my book will change education for the better um, I'm not saying I know everything because I don't. What I'm saying is that, you know, maybe my thoughts of my things could help enhance education. And I feel like that um, these books can go into the schools, you know, and then the kids can learn that they're not alone. Don't give up. I, I've actually been at this for a very long time. Um, I took my first course at Dean College um, and I loved every minute of it. Okay, so the course was Children's Lit. You had to develop a story and you had to do the artwork. I am not an artist, so I thought. So I couldn't draw. I could not draw. But I can cut out paper, manipulate paper, make collages. I can do that. So I did. And then by the time I was done with my very first book for that class, the teacher said to me, this is excellent, you need to get this published. And I said, eh, I didn't believe her. I didn't believe her. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. So I started pushing, pushing, pushing. And then I would I'd talk to other people who were in the industry. So what do you think? You know, making sure it's correct, you know, I, you know, and I need to keep believing in myself. You just never know when, I guess your calling is gonna hit or your niche is gonna hit because I was teaching and I love teaching, I did. You know, I had some former students who I adore, you know, and they told me to get out of the book business and get back to the classroom. And I told that boy, but what happens if I can change education for the better and I can reach more than my 400? You know, just don't give up, you know, um, you know, have a side job to start off, you know, and then keep going, keep going, keep going. And then you just never know where it's going to take off. I never thought of, you know, coming to Connecticut that all this would be happening to me. So I, I feel blessed and I'm gonna just keep going from there. <laughs> Take what your passion is and develop it to what you want to do daily. I really can't say that enough. Like my passion really is writing and I wanna do that daily. That would be awesome. And now I'm doing it, so who knows? But you take what you love and, and that way you're not working every day and slaving over something you don't want to do. You want to do something you want to do every day. You don't want to be bored. The thing that um, pulled on my heartstrings was there was this one kid and he was such a cutie and he um, used to take out my book, you know, through the library all the time because I donated it. But he, um, he had one at home. And so I was talking to his mother one day and I said, oh, you know, um, your son is so cute. He always takes it out. I think he's just trying to be nice to me, right? Joking with her, right? She goes, she goes actually, you know, I'm going to tell you something. And I said, what's that? And she goes, well, he was so cute. Like when he has a tough day, right? He'll go pick up your book and I'll take it. He'll read it again and go, shut it. And he's ready to go again. And I said, and that's why I write. 